What's up, Wayne Brown here with DarkEffects.net, and once again we are inside of 3D Studio Max 2013. Hopefully the video lesson I'm getting ready to do, everybody will be able to follow along. So uh, to start off with, we want to make sure that our shade, uh, we have this set to shade and edge faces. And uh, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, well, let me explain to you. I found a video on YouTube about basically how to do edible meshes and the guy created a basket. Unfortunately, the, uh, it was a silent video and if it wasn't for people going in and posting notes, if you was a newbie like basically like I am, then you wouldn't be able to follow along because you'd get lost. And so, but anyway, I uh, hope that you enjoy this, so let's jump into it. Go ahead and get our cylinder. Make a cylinder about like so, bring it up to there, click, click out. Come over here, let's make right click, make it into an edible poly, <clears throat> excuse me. Drop down, choose edge. Uh, let's give this a different color, I want blue. Okay, now let's click right here, choose one selection, come over, sorry, choose similar. And this is going to select all of the outside edges on the bottom and the top. Come over to this area and click on Create Shape from Selection. And make sure it's linear. And you can leave it at Shape 001. <clears throat> Excuse me. And now just click on any edge within this area. Come over here to the Polygon Modeling. Generate Topology. Third down third one over, choose that one, close out, select everything, come over here, create shape from selection, shape 002 is fine, make sure it's linear, click OK. Now, come over here, select your editable poly, and delete it. And then as you see, we've got a wireframe here, select your wireframe, let's go ahead and give it a darker color and that'll be okay all right so now let's come down choose segment I'm sorry vertex segment yep segment come down here select everything in the center and choose delete come back up and then, oops, choose edible spline, and then move your way down to the bottom. Click on attach, come over here and select this area, and then unattach. Okay, now let's scroll back up. Oops, get back up to the top here. Make sure that you have enable in renderer and enable in viewpoint selected. And then let's go ahead and widen it a little bit. Let's bring it to about. That looks good right there. Let's scroll in a little bit here. Take a look at it. Oops. Ha -ha. Too big and she's floating around. So that's basically what she looks like. So let's. I'm down to about right up in here. That looks good. All right, so now let's click and pull out on it. Okay, now let's come up here and scroll down to our T to taper. And now with our taper selected, Let's come over here and let's start tapering it out on the top and then taper it in in the center and then this is our basket. Oops, get back up. So, any questions? Uh, they took me about probably 30 minutes messing around with the lesson and on YouTube and reading people's comments and getting frustrated to figure it out. 
So anyway, this is Wayne Barron with darkfix.net. I hope that y'all enjoyed this quick one. Have a good one. Bye-bye.